Creating animations to present your designs more effectively can be extremely time consuming. So in this video, I'm going to share with you this secret app that I just discovered to produce animations like these ones. Oh, and I'll mention in seconds. Let's get right into it, guys. Hey beautiful people, it's Mizko here. Now if you didn't get the news on Instagram, yes I did turn dirty 30 yesterday. So if you want to send me some love, feel free to share a nice little warm comment down below in the comments. Or if you want, you can go ahead and gently smash the like button. Alright guys, let's get right into it. So I've gone ahead and created this dark mode design. So originally it was for a 1440 art frame by 900 uh, pixels. Then I want to turn this into a dribble shot which I have then turned the canvas into a 1600 by 1200 pixel uh, art frame because this is the standard uh, dimensions for a dribble shot. And then I want to add some animations. Now, one really quick thing for you guys. If you didn't realize, this design was created entirely from the designer ship design system. Now in version 1.2, which is, exists right now for the public market, there is no dark mode but I've been working endlessly on version 1.3, as you can see over here, uh, and there is a dark mode that is going to be coming. So as you can see in the color section, in the topography section, grids, icons, drop shadows, alerts, accordions, breadcrumbs, everything, there is now a dark mode that will be coming soon. And if you take a look at the inputs, we have over 400 input uh, variations for you to pick from. Now, if you want to see how powerful this is, we can go ahead and select an input from the design system. You can drag it down, uh, running at the same time. And all you have to do is tick dark mode and you'll have every single element in dark mode. So if you are interested, make sure to check out the link in the description, coupon code attached as well. And let's get right into this video, guys. So let's go from this. How do we go ahead and actually create these beautiful animations? It isn't in Figma, and it's this. And the secret is this new application that I have discovered. No, this is not a sponsored video. I just simply love what these people have done. The team have created a beautiful product, simple to use, and is extremely affordable as well if you want pro memberships. So, what you have to do is simply Google jitter.video, and you will see this new application. Once you've created an account, simply Google search Figma Jitter plugin, download this plugin and install it to Figma. Once you've done that, all you have to do is head back into Figma, select your artboard, go to plugins and hit Jitter. Then you'll see a modal. Make sure you've selected the artboard that you want to sync over to Jitter. Then you can simply either create a new file or you can sync it to an existing one and hit export to Jitter. Once you've done that, you can head back over to your Jitter account and you'll see that Jitter will pull through all the designs, all the layers, all the elements into their own application. This is extremely powerful and this is extremely easy for you to create animations now. So the most important thing that you need to realize with my previous designs, I'm gonna head back over to it, is that in this design, I have a frame that is clip content checked. So this means that any component that goes outside of this frame will be masked, okay? So this is important if you want to create animations where things slide in and you don't want it to be showing outside of the bounding box. So over here, when we go back to uh, Jitter, when I move this uh, menu outside, it hides and that's what I want. So once you've done that, what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and hit on a new animation in the top right corner. So I want the menu to slide in. Then I want the cards of these members to fade in one at a time with a slight little delay. And then I want this menu to slide in, okay? So let's go ahead and create this animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and go new animation. And I'm gonna create a custom animation for this menu. And I'm gonna select move. So what I wanna do is I can click on the left side of this uh, progress bar. I'm gonna position this outside of the bounding box. And then on the end point, I'm gonna slide that in, okay? So that's as simple as what you need to do. So you set the starting point and then the end point, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to animate all these cards in one at a time. So what you can do is you can collapse, uncollapse all these uh, rows and then you can go ahead and hold down shift and select them all, right? And then you can go a new animation 
and I'm going to select a preset just to show you guys how what this can look like. So we're going to do a slide in, right? But I want the direction to be up. So I want each card to fade up um, one at a time. Okay, so you can see in the timeline, this will now apply that effect, that animation to all the cards. Okay, so once we take a quick look at this, you can see that they all slide up at the same time. Now I want to add a slight little delay between each card so it fades in quite gracefully. So let's go ahead and just click on the first one. You can see it's stuck to the top. Then I want to go hold down shift, uh, right two times on the keyboard. Then on the second one, do the same. And on the third one, we'll do the, do the same. And I'm going to apply the same effect to all of them. So let me just go ahead. All right, so that's all done now. So let's just take a quick look at this new animation that we've created. So we've got the slide in, and then we've got the card sliding right in after. All right, so what's next? The final thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that the panels will fl uh, slide in as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make sure this uh, details panel is selected. Head over to animation, click on new animation, and let's just do a custom one. We're going to move this as well. So remember, make sure you click on the starting point, and let's position this all the way just outside of it, so it's tucked outside that bounding box. Click on the end point of this progress bar, click on this end point over here, and let's drag that inside into the bounding box. So now when we scroll back, you can see that it's going to slide in, okay? And the great thing about Jitter.video is that I love the natural easing that they've already configured to their animations. So once again, we can take a look at this, we can go slide in, that's exactly what we want, and then that slides in. So let's watch that again, because it's so damn beautiful, guys. There we go, boom, and boom, there we go. So once you've created your animations, you can simply go over to export. I personally have a paid membership now because I have been sucked into their great experience. I can actually uh, export this GIF out in full resolution. And the great thing about this is now I can upload this directly over into Dribbble and I can get all those juicy likes and all those juicy eyeballs as well. Alright guys, hopefully you found this video extremely useful and I do hope that you start creating some beautiful animations to really put your best foot forward. And remember guys, two quick things. If you want that design system, make sure to check the link in the description. And my Figma Masterclass, I have already taken on my very first cohort of students. This course will help you master Figma, but more importantly, a lot of UI design principles as well. So if you are interested, make sure to check the link in the description to get early bird access to all my courses. So that sums it up for this video, guys. I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Fwah! Thank you.